Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Soul Magic Inspirations and I'm here with a Divine Feminine reading and today we're doing Divine Feminine Energy Check-in and this is for people in separation, no contact. I want to thank you all for your support and love at this time, I really appreciate that. If you're new here, welcome, I hope you enjoy my content. If you want to win a free reading, subscribe, like and comment the word hope and this competition is on both channels. And I will announce the winner sort of mid-December. I'm going to be away from tomorrow for a few days as I'm recording this. Um, so, you know, check out my other channel. Check out my Etsy shop where you can purchase a reading. Check out my card shop, over 90 designs of Oracle and Tarot. A, a lot of them I use in my readings. Check out my Patreon, just $5 a month. And when you join, you will get a free reading as a thank you from me. Okay, so let's have a look at the Divine Feminine. I'm trying to make these readings a bit quicker and it ended up, it's going to be longer, I think, than normal, but these are the messages that wanted to come through. So this is the Divine Feminine energies right now. So good, good luck. So she's feeling her luck changing right now. And she's feeling inspired. And she feels protected or she's getting messages all the time that she is protected. And she's got renewed confidence. She's having more confidence in herself, or she will, or you will be if you're watching. And she's um, honouring her talents. She may be finding out more gifts at this time, and she's making new friendships that could be more on her in her soul group, her soul family. And she's focusing on her career right now. For some of you, focusing on career. Um, this could be self-employment and love, you know, in the energy of love, being in that energy of love, okay, which is beautiful vibration, but wanting closure of the past, okay, wanting closure and really focusing on your financial situation right now, trying to, you know, get into a good financial stability and being empowered, you know, taking responsibility for yourself and having clarity, you know, having the clarity to see you know, what to do next in your life and trusting in the divine, following your passions and wanting to commit, you know, what committing to yourself, but I feel this is also talking about wanting a commitment in your life, a, a relationship that is a committed relationship and having that family and having that home. And if you check out the Divine Masculine, you will see exactly the same. So you are mirroring each other's energies at this time. For those of you that resonate with this reading, you are mirroring each other's energies, both wanting that commitment, that stability in your home, your family, wanting to build a family together, have a family together, for those of you that don't have children. And we've got good luck coming in there. And I'm using the Unicorn Tarot. Yeah, we've got Page of Pentacles. So this could be, you know, somebody coming in with a message. There could be a message about money coming in towards you, a change in your financial fortune. And we've also got a message about love. So this could be from your masculine, because that did come out in his reading, that he wants to communicate. And it could be a text or an email or just a flirty fun message to break the ice. You know, you may not have spoken to this person for some time. And the feminine is feeling inspired right now. Wow, we've got Ace of Cups. So you're in that energy of self-love. You're really in that energy of self-worth, self-love. And you're feeling inspired. You're following your inspiration. And we've got the star energy there. So yes, you've been doing healing on yourself. You are protected at this time. And, you know, your wishes are going to be fulfilled. You're manifesting, you know, your, your wishes. You're, you're manifesting your desires. And you're coming into renewed confidence in yourself here. You're you're finding that confidence. Yeah, we've got four of wands. So maybe you have got some stability in your life right now. Um, you know, you you're working on finding your own foundation. Maybe some of you have moved to a new home or you're going to move to a new home. And we've got the strength card. So you you are strong. 
okay you've overcome a lot and you're honoring that in yourself you've overcome a lot you've done that healing you've overcome a lot of upsets obstacles traumas whatever that is and you're honoring your own talent and we've got nine of cups so you know you're appreciating all those gifts and i see that the cups is the gifts that you have your talents whatever that is okay and we've got six of pentacles with friendship so i feel that a lot of you are finding new friendships that are more balanced maybe you're in connections with other people that were out of balance and you're only going to accept that you know that equal give and take in a friendship and before maybe you're in uh, connections that were very draining and with career we've got uh, I will see that as divine, ti uh, divine timing, three of wands, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for the right time. So you're waiting right now for things to change and they are going to change, that shows me that. And you're in that energy of love, okay, you're in that beautiful loving energy. Yeah, you're connecting with your divine feminine aspect <clears throat> and you're wanting this two of cups, you're wanting this um, connection. I mean, you're still feeling this love for your masculine you know despite the the fact that you may have been apart and you're hoping for this to you know change this period of separation to change and you want closure on the past yeah we've got six of wands do you want success and victory you want to close off the past and have a new beginning because it was very burdensome you know that ten of wands you've had a lot to deal with as i said there's been a lot going on and this, I feel, for both of you, had a lot going on in your own lives. And the 10 is the end of that cycle. And you're coming into a much better phase with financial health, the chariot. Things are going to start moving forward for you very quickly. Okay, and I feel this is to do with your career, your work, your finances. There could be a sudden change in fortune around that. Wow, we've got temperance. So I feel, that, again, that is all talking about balance. Coming into balance in your own energies will help you unblock any blocks and put you into that receptive energy to welcome abundance. And you're stepping into empowerment. Wow, you're taking that energy, you know, you're becoming empowered, you're confident, you're strong. You're stepping into your truth of who you are. Wow, Ace of Swords, yeah, the truth of who you are, you've got clarity, we've got Queen of Cups, yes, you are a loving, caring, nurturing human being, okay, you may not be a water sign for those, you know, you could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but you're in that loving energy, you are the Queen of Cups, okay, you're very loving, and you're trusting in the Divine, you're having faith, you're trusting, we've got the Death card, so again, that came out for the masculine. you've been through a period of transformation, you're following your passion. You still have passion here. Yeah, you're in that independent energy with the Nine of Pentacles. You're doing your projects. You're doing your work. But you're doing it with passion. And you want that commit commitment. Well, we've got the Fool. You want to take a leap of faith into a new beginning with your masculine. You want a family. Wow, we've got King of Cups. So we've got the King and Queen of Cups. So this is your counterpart. And you want this person to have a home with have a family yeah and for some it could involve a house move i did see that earlier and we've got the magician energy and that is manifesting your desires and for some of you this this connection will mean that you do move okay either one moves in with the other or you you know vice versa or you get a new place together wow wow i just feel like crying and you've got the sun you've got happiness and joy coming out here wow yeah we've got eight of wands movement forward here communication coming in so there is a shift okay there is definitely a shift here so let's look at the feminine's other energies so we've got the destiny the moroi destiny yeah you believe in destiny you believe that this was a destined connection and you're feeling the love you're in that energy like i said the queen of cups and you want a new beginning here with your masculine and you are following your intuition. You're very strongly connected to your intuition. And you trust in the natural order. You trust that what, what is for you will not pass you by. And you want that purity. You want that new beginning. We say closure for you to have a new beginning, to put the past behind. And there's a cross, crossroads. You feel that you're at a crossroads. You know, you're coming towards that crossroads. And you're wanting that playful, fun energy. And you, you're wise. You know, you've gained a lot of wisdom, as I said, in this connection. 
and you have hope you've not lost faith or hope you're feeling inspired that came out before and you want to reap the harvest you know you put in the time and effort on yourself and on this connection and you want to reap the harvest and you want to create a home with this person. But wherever you are with this person, I feel it feels like home. You feel like home to each other when you're in each other's energy. How beautiful is that? And yes, you see yourself as the divine feminine. You've done that work. You're in that empress energy. Although it hasn't come out here, you are in that empress energy. And second chakra, I feel the sacral. You've been doing a lot of healing work on that, a lot of cleansing work. Or you will be doing that. And yes, you're being honest honest with yourself and you want to be honest with your masculine and to be authentic yeah you're stepping into who you truly are that queen of cups energy that loving authentic energy and you're coming into balance in your energies we saw that with the temperance and you're strong you know we saw that again with the strength card you're you know you're connecting with your own sensuality you're not denying that sensual feminine aspect of yourself and you're surrendering to what will be to the divine and you have this awareness of what is truly meant by this connection and what the lessons are. And you're in the energy of forgiveness. So you, you're forgiving yourself and you're forgiving your masculine. And that came out in the masculine's reading because he wasn't sure if he would have your forgiveness. And this will help attract you back to each other, I feel. So let's look at the sacral, uh, the chakra messages. We've got intuition again. Trust, insight, awareness and guidance. So you are following your own intuition. You are following your own guidance. You trust in your own intuition. And we've got the solar plexus, responsibility, self-discipline, empowerment, reliability and fulfillment. And we've got the number two, 2020 there. So again, to me, that talks about rela relationships. And we've got the seed there. Okay, so I see that as that new beginning. And you're taking responsibility. You're taking your own empowerment. We saw that you're coming into empowerment. And your third eye is awakening. We had that with the masculine. So again, I feel maybe there's a telepathic connection. Maybe you're connecting in the 5D, even though you've not connected in the 3D for some time. And again, we've got that sacral chakra. So I do feel there is an attachment between you at the sacral because it could have started off as a very lustful connection. But you're grounding your energy. And we've got nature. It's time to ground your energy. Presence, practicality, stability. Yeah, you're finding that in your own stability. We saw that with the four of wands. You're finding your own stability and you're in the energy of self-esteem. We saw that with self-love, confidence, self-love, self-worth, pride. So you're really feeling good. You've got that renewed confidence, that strength, that empowerment. You're really feeling good about yourself and you're in the energy of love. Again, confirming that and the number two plus four, six, um, you know, that energy of love, kindness, benevolence, sharing and receiving. So, yes, yeah, you're in that beautiful, loving Queen of Cups energy and you know again this energy is going to be felt you know by your masculine and we've got presence awareness attention reality and connection and we've got the power number four four there so yes you are living in the moment you're truly in the moment so it's a beautiful energy so what do you want to say to your masculine i have such passionate feelings for you you are so sexy so sensual you turn me on there has always been that you know sensual connection well, you're amazing, a dream come true. So to you, they are a dream come true. Um, well, love is as deep as the ocean. So, you know, this love has never gone, really. That love is still there. And meditate and contemplate. Okay, so you are doing this. I feel you're doing a spiritual practice. You really go within. Your dreams need a practical plan. So I feel you're following your passions. You're setting your manifestations. And you're following through with action. I feel you're, you're working forward moving forward and take time to breathe out time to relax time to just chill and be in the moment you need to relax yourself and surrender yes and that came out in the masculine surrender to the divine have trust and faith in that and your commitment is being tested and that came out in the masculines as well so your commitment to yourself and your commitment to the, each other this is bit this has been a test and a fiery climax approaches we've got moon in aries okay so that's that planet that's ruled by mars which is the action planet so there is going to be movement forward and the foray climax feels like you know that sacred union that connection that's you know that spark reigniting that spark so beautiful energy is if you want to win a free reading subscribe like and comment the word hope and i will see you next time many blessings